tonight, one medical professional says it's important for you to pay attention to your health. COVID-19 cases continue to climb across the Midwest and the virus could trigger lasting chronic symptoms. Tatiana Cash joins us in studio with more on this. Tatiana? Melissa, that's right. There's a real possibility that some people recovering from COVID could develop POTS. Now, POTS stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And one nurse who actually has POTS and then unfortunately caught COVID says either way, it's best to know your body and when to just ask for medical help. Nurse Rachel Miller and her family belong to a club they would rather not be members of. Like many, they've dealt with COVID. I got it first and then my mom got it and then my dad got it. And unfortunately, my mom wasn't able to survive it. Add to the struggle the fact that Rachel has an underlying health condition called POTS, which can affect the body in numerous ways, causing rapid heart rate, brain fog, fatigue, and sometimes fainting spells. But what's worse, COVID could lead to POTS. Or, like in Rachel's case, POTS can be more intensely impacted by COVID. You know your body, you know what's normal and what's not normal for your body, and you just have to be able to trust that. Miller says talking with your doctor is absolutely key. Since she's had POTS for years, she already knew something was off after the virus, and she's dealing with the lingering effects. We are tweaking my medications and I'm back in physical therapy and trying to recondition my body from fighting off COVID. But for someone who doesn't know, lasting COVID symptoms, also can be called long COVID or long haul COVID, is a medical issue doctors say you need to get checked out. Additionally, Dysautonomia International, which is the nonprofit that focuses on POTS, is actually giving a $100,000 grant to the University of Toledo to further study POTS and its impact on long COVID patients. So definitely more on that. Back to you.